we know how to find the perimeter of a shape. We add up all the sides, and that is the perimeter. It's the distance around. Today, we are going to make a shape based on the perimeter already given to us. Let's use an example. Kara wants to design a shape for her garden. The length of her fence that she has is 14 yards. She can arrange it any way she wants. What kind of shape can she make? She can't use any more fencing. She only has 14 yards, and she wants to use all of the fencing so none of it goes to waste. We can use grid paper, or we can use straws, or we can use sticks to figure out this problem. Let's say that each length of each square is one unit. I can use this grid paper to help me find what kind of shape she can make for her garden. I'm going to try this and sometimes I might not make it, sometimes I might fail, but I'm going to try and if I need to erase it I can. So I'm just going to start off with the perimeter, let's say it's two units down and I'm going to count across one, two, three, four, five. Then I'm going to count two units up. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. And if I add it up, I've got two and I've got five. So the perimeter would equal 14 when I add up all the sides. So she can make a garden that was two feet by five feet across. I'm going to try a different way now. I'm going to say that the length is only going to be one unit. So then the perimeter needs to be 14, so I'm going to count across 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I think I miscounted. Let me try one more time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So the perimeter equals 14. That's another way that she can arrange her garden. Which design, which perimeter looks better for a garden? I would say this one because it looks like it just has a little more space to plant. I could have also chosen a shape that has a side, a length of three, and then across it could have been four because the perimeter would have equaled 14. Here are a couple other shapes that have a perimeter of 14. However, I'm looking at them and I'm thinking, especially this one, would not work very well for a garden. This shape has a perimeter of 10 yards because the scale that I'm using is each length is a yard and there's three yards here or three units and there's two yards here. So the perimeter would equal 10. Let's see if I can make another shape with a perimeter of 10. Now I could go two down I could go three across, one up, and if I count the perimeter, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, the perimeter also equals ten. But if I was making a garden, I would say this would definitely not be the shape that I would want. I would want something big like this one. Here is a shape that has the perimeter of 8. Can I draw another shape that has the same perimeter? Let me see. I can do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The perimeter also equals 8. They're different shapes, but they have the same perimeter. Remember, when you're trying to make a shape, a different shapes with the same perimeter, Sometimes you just need to try and try again. It may not always work the first time, but it is possible to make shapes, different shapes that have the same perimeter.